We've got one more comment for Phoenix. Boo freaking who! <laughs> it's always a great time digging into the Ken's Five Vault, and I got a good one for you tonight. On this day 13 years ago, the Spurs went into Phoenix to play a pivotal Game 5 in the Western Conference semifinals, and thanks to a Bruce Bowen three-pointer in the final minute, the Spurs escaped the desert with an 88 to 85 victory. Now, if you remember this series, game five was a huge deal, not only because there was a lot of the line, but you had to factor in everything from game four. Robert Ory smashes into Steve Nash and results in suspensions, including a pair to Phoenix's Amari Stoudemire and Boris Diaw for a game. The Suns faithful were not and are still not happy. And as Joe Reinagle reports in 2007, the playoff crowd was a little bit more juiced than usual on the road. It was quite a game here at the U.S. Airways Center last night. The Phoenix Suns came out fired up. They were tough for the Spurs, but the biggest obstacle last night had to be the folks that were sitting right here in the seats. Well, I had like some 76-year-old man tell me that you know I had no class. I'd never met the guy before. Oh, it was incredible. I, I, people call me some choice names tonight that I hadn't heard before. And I had some little old lady flip me the bird when we went out to warm up. And I'm sitting there going, wait, this isn't the same crowd we saw just last week. They, they curse you all the time in Europe, you know, on the road. So, you know, that's, in the States, they're more nice, you know. But tonight, you know, it felt like I was in Greece or like in Serbia, you know, something like that. They didn't, they didn't throw the phones or the coins and stuff like that. So it's not as fun, you know. Now it's time for the blackout back at our place. You know, hopefully we'll go back to our building and uh, we'll have the type of response from our crowd that we're going to need in order to try and close out the series. So the Spurs say they learned their lesson. They certainly do not want to come back to this arena. The U.S. Airways Center was rocking last night. They don't want to come here for a Game 7 on Sunday.